64 AD, the Emperor Nero has unleashed his fury against the Christians. Their crime? Proclaiming a king higher than Caesar. Setting fire to the city, Nero places the blame on the Christians and launches a new campaign to wipe them out. Families are separated, children left homeless, as thousands are sold into slavery or thrown to the lions. Escaping the panic of the fire and dodging the advancing soldiers, a group of children find shelter in the gentle care of Ben and Helena, a local baker and his wife. Here, the children discover an amazing secret network of daring men and women who risk their lives to help one another and to tell the stories of the great storyteller, the one called Jesus. And so, awaiting the day when their parents will return, Anna, Cyrus, Justin, and Marcus embark on the adventure of a lifetime, together with Ben, Helena, and their friends in the Christian underground. Their mission, to keep the stories of Jesus alive. This is their story. They are the Story Keepers. After Tacticus is sentenced to death for refusing to worship Nero, Ben and the gang stage a daring rescue, aided by Anna's friend, Miriam. Enraged by the escape, Nero orders those responsible to be hunted down and executed. I pity you, Tacticus. Your Christian friends have blinded you. I will find you. And thank you. Now, Ben and the others must smuggle the fugitives out of Rome. But first, they must deliver Miriam's parents from the threat of Nero's guards. Are you okay in there? I'll be much better when we can see Miriam again. How much further to your bakery? We're almost there, Samuel. Just sit tight. Sit tight? Is he joking? You're a first-class citizen. The next minute, you're traveling freight. That's what we get for raising our daughter as a Christian. We've got company, Ben. Halt! Who are you? Where are you going? Uh, I'm a baker, sir, and we're off to the millers with a load of grain. Grain, huh? We'll see about that. <gasps> <gasps> Huh. All right, on your way. What's this? I believe it's goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> Justin, leave! Now! Who dropped in? <laughs> Shot! Give it up, Baker! You can't outrun me! That's what you think. Next week, right near this, uh, uh, carrot. Oops. Sorry. Well, uh, 
Once he arrives, we'll sneak you down to the port under the cover of night. Till then, you should be safe here. You were saying? Quick, you four hide. Justin, you and the others know what to do. I think I need a bigger pantry. Mm, I'm afraid it's one size fits all. Don't worry, I'm sure it's... Uh... Yeah! Ah! Trackus, Brackus, that's no way to greet a customer. It's okay, everyone. It's just Antonius the Miller with the delivery. Uh, sorry about that. Just got them raised by wolves and all. Quite a bargain, actually. If I could just get them to stop chewing on my sandals. Now that six bags of Christians at... Oh, my. Don't tell me you're hiding Christians in here again. As a matter of fact... I said don't tell me! Now I have to charge you more. Uh, delivery to Christians. High risk, you know. Antonius, we all have to do our part. Oh, very well. I'll waive the fee this time. Ninety sesterces, please. The sacrifices I make in the service of Jesus. Uh, come along, boys. Enough milling around. Uh, could you maybe give me a hand? Thanks. I guess. I don't trust him, Ben. The way he carried that money out of here, he reminded me of Judas. Who's Judas? He's the disciple who turned Jesus over to his enemies, Marcus. That's right, Zach. I've been meaning to tell you children about him. You see, it was just before the great feast of the Passover. A group of priests became angered by Jesus' teachings. They heard that he claimed to be God, which was a crime worthy of death. And they were afraid he would cause riots, and the Romans would punish all of the Jewish people. He had to be stopped. But how? Jesus was far too popular to arrest publicly. But they thought it better that he should die than to risk punishment of all the people by the Roman army. Then one of their spies told them that Judas Iscariot, one of Jesus' disciples, was willing to betray Jesus to them. They agreed to pay him a sum of money to do it. Upon hearing they'd agreed to his terms, Judas sent word back to the Jewish council saying he would alert them when there would not be any crowds around Jesus. I can't believe one of Jesus' friends would do that to him. You don't think anyone will turn us in, do you, Ben? Oh, I certainly hope not, Cyrus. But we can't be too careful. Ben! It's Darius. Open up. Ben, the city's crawling with guards. They're going door to door looking for Tacticus and Miriam. If they find them here, you'll all be killed. Search the house. We've got to get you two to the catacombs right away. But they'll need food, water, blankets. Right. Helena, you and the boys stay and get the supplies together. Zach can bring them when you're ready. Hello, Miller. Ah, uh, hello, sir. C can I get you something? Flour? Wheat? Breath freshener? How about some Christians? Oh, I'm afraid I'm fresh out. Really? This morning I encountered some on the way here. A little fat man and his helpers. Help me find them and there's a reward for you. A reward? Yes. Your life. Ah, well, since you put it that way, I might know something. Well, 
this is it. <laughs> At least until Selim's boat gets into port. Well, I know, I know it's not much, but... What was that? <laughs> is, is everyone okay? <laughs> I'll say. Right. Good. Everyone's fine. Well, if this is going to be our home for a while, I suggest we make it more comfortable. Tacticus? <laughs> By the time Zack gets here with the supplies, this place will be fit for a king. <laughs> should hold them. Wait, you forgot Leo and Theo. Who? My lions. They don't need your old lions in the catacombs, Marcus. Uh-huh. They might get scared in there. Leo and Theo always look after me when I get scared. That's very thoughtful, Marcus. Food and clothing are important, but sometimes we need more than that. Jesus had a friend named Mary who knew this. And although a lot of people didn't like her, she was very special to Jesus. One night, Jesus and his disciples were having dinner at a friend's house, and Mary came to visit. Doesn't Jesus know what kind of woman she is? This is no place for a woman like that. Out of my way, I will come in. If he really is a prophet, he would know all about her. That expensive perfume should have been sold, and the money given to the poor. Leave her alone. Why do you want to upset her? It is a fine thing she has done. There are always poor among you. You can help them whenever you want. But I'm not here forever. And Jesus said what that woman did would be told all over the world. Just like we're doing now? That's right, Marcus. Uh-oh, we've got to move these supplies or the soldiers will get suspicious. I think with some help from Zack, we can start digging a well. Good. In the meantime, why don't we all have a seat? I don't know about the rest of you, but uh, I've worked up quite a hunger. All I have is bread and a little wine, but uh, it should be enough. I wonder if this is how Jesus felt on the night of his last meal with his friends. I hope this won't be our last meal, Tacticus. Of course not, but it's my first meal as a wanted man. And Ben, didn't you say that Jesus knew he was a wanted man on that night of the Passover? Yes, that's right, but he knew more than that, which gave the disciples quite a surprise. You see, they had all gathered for the Passover meal in the upper room of a man's house in Bethany. <laughs> One of you, sitting here, having supper, will hand me over to the Jewish leaders. Hand him over? What's he talking about? It's not me, is it? I am not the one, am I? Who would do that to you? It is one of you. He is here. It will be a terrible thing for whoever hands me over to be killed. It would be better for him if he had never been born. That night, Jesus did something new. He took some bread, and after he gave thanks and broke it into pieces, he gave it to the disciples and said, This is my very self, my body, broken for you. Then he took a cup of wine, gave thanks again, and gave it to the disciples. This is my very self, my blood. I will die then all people will know God loves everyone, everywhere. Be careful, Zach. Don't worry, I'll stick to the back roads. Open up in the name of Nero. Hurry, go! Everyone, business as usual. You must be Helena. So very pleased to meet you. Your friend the Miller sends his regards.
Sir, the baker's not here. No matter. He soon will be. Listen up, you Christian dogs! If any of you sees your miserable little baker, tell him he has until the sun sets to show his face. Or his bakery will burn with his wife and children still in it. And if you're not back by sundown, he'll burn the bakery down with Helena and the boys still in it. We've got to get them out of there. Nihilus has the place completely surrounded. Then I have to give myself up. Ben, you can't. I have no choice. Maybe you do. Anna, I'm telling you, there's no way on Earth to get near that bakery. But we're not on Earth anymore, Zack. We're under it. Come on! Zack, where are you going? I'm going to make that Miller pay. He betrayed you. I know it. Zack, no! Come back! Look, you little brats. The baker's wife is out in that kitchen worried sick about you. Tell me where he is, and I'll let you go back to her. No. You're bad. Marcus, shh! The boy is right, Capella. Show some respect. These are children, after all. Citizens of Rome. Yeah. Not only that, they're orphans. How did you know that? Oh, I know all about you. It's only right you should feel some loyalty to the man who took you in. But what you don't realize is that man is a traitor to Rome. That's not true. Not only that, he's a liar. He's not trying to find your parents. It's just a trick to keep you here, working in his bakery. But I could really help you. He can. He's one of the most powerful men in Rome. That's right. I could find your real parents. I could make you a family again. All you have to do is tell me where the baker is. Think about it. We'll never make it at this rate. We have to. I suppose you're surprised I'm not trapped in the bakery, like the rest of them. Trapped in the bakery? What are you talking about? Nihilus is going to burn it, with Helena and the boys still in there. I don't know what you're talking about. Trackus, Bracus! You can lie to me, but you can't lie to my sword! Is there a problem, Master? No, this young man was just leaving. I don't know how you can live with yourself, Miller. I know I couldn't. Follow him and report back to me. This to be a fire even Nero would be proud of. Ah, that didn't take long. Well, sir, we thought about it. And, well, we do want to find our real parents. Good, good. And we decided the only fair thing to do would be to put your hmm? generous offer to a vote. <sighs> All of those in favor of telling this lying oh. evil man who burnt down half of Rome <gasps> and is now pretending to be our friend where Ben is, say I. All those opposed? No. no. It's unanimous. <laughs> Fine. Let's see your Ben save you now. Oh, boys, I'm so proud of you. Why? We just did what anybody else would do. Anybody except for that Miller. I can't believe he turned Ben in. Yeah, he's just like Judas. 
You know, Cyrus, Judas wasn't the only one who let Jesus down. Really? That's right. After their last supper together, Jesus and his disciples walked to the Hill of Olives. It was on the road to the village where they were staying. You are all going to run away. You will all let me down. I'll never do such a thing. I won't let you down. Peter, before the rooster crows twice, before dawn tomorrow, you will have said three times that you do not even know me. I'll die for you first. I would. I'll die for him. They had come a long way together since those happy days by the lakeside in Galilee. Well? He went into the catacombs. Looks like they're trying to dig their way into the bakery. Really? Show me where. We should be getting close now. Just a few more feet and... Baker! I know you're out there! This is your last chance to save your family! Soon, they die! Don't worry, Ben. We'll make it. What is it? It's a boulder. Oh, no! I knew the coward wouldn't come. Board it up and burn it down. Board it up and burn it down! Helena, what are we gonna do? Shh, listen. It's Ben! Everybody dig! All right, Baker! You asked for this! He did it! He set it on fire! We're not gonna make it. She's right, you know. You! At least not with these puny shovels. Track us, track us. Antonius, but you, I, I mean... Your young friend was right. I couldn't live with myself if I let this monster do this to you. God bless you, friend. No, Ben. God forgive me. Gently, please, gently. Who's gently? What do we do now, Ben? I don't know, Anna. But one thing's for sure. We can no longer stay in room. I don't know what happened, sir. They're gone. That can't be. Sir, look. There's a hole. I don't care if you have to dig up all of Rome. You find that baker, find him!